Hi, my name is Tiffany and this is Weddings Unplugged. The night before the wedding. To party or not to party? That is the question. For me, um, after investing so much time into the wedding and everything that led up to it, it was almost like I wanted to sit back, relax, and enjoy the moment. And you have those traditions where you have rehearsal dinner and it's all formal and everyone's dressed nicely. So we ended up having a pre-I do barbecue. And so we um, waited until the sun went down, the pool area was lit, we had one of our good friends DJ, and then so we had the bridal party there first. That way we can all eat together. And then if you were a guest at the wedding and you were staying at the host hotel, you could definitely come down and join us. Later on, we had music playing. What about you guys? Oh, for me, I was boring. <laughs> I, we rented an Airbnb for the ladies to stay in, and I think we stayed up and did the favors. Okay. And then we called it a night. Because I had to be up early, early, early in the morning. Right. So I still wasn't done getting ready. I still need to actually buy my veil. Oh. <laughs> so I was boring because I need to get ready for the next day. For us, we had a bridal shower that day. So we went to Top Golf. Which was, I, had, I was like, golf, I don't golf, what? <laughs> but then when I got there and I had the club in my hand, all the anger and frustration, everything just went into that club okay, and like, okay. boom! And it, it literally just went right over the ledge. I didn't knock it that far. <laughs> and I'm glad that we did it during the day because in the evening we actually had a um, rehearsal party. So we decided to cook all the traditional Nigerian food at my godmother's house. Nigerian family members and friends were all there eating, having a good time, you know, and I was up there like, upstairs at the command center like still like we need to print programs <laughs> just like um, Siobhan about the veil I was like we gotta get programs we need to call these because I lost my phone uh, the week of my wedding so it was it was but I was so grateful to like be able to go to bed by midnight <laughs> yes this is very important to me <laughs> You know, I think it's important to do something together before the wedding so you can feel familiar and, and all your friends and family know each other, but just not the night before. For me, <laughs> that was like, a, I need time to just have my mind clear. What if something pops up, yeah. like the veil or the phone or something like that, and I need to be available. We just chilled. It was nothing fancy. A few of my, uh, my bridesmaids and I, we got a suite in downtown Tampa. It was very nice, but we had nothing planned. I just had to have my mind free for the just-in-cases, for mm. the things you can't predict. So for me, we were kind of boring, but I needed that so that I could be 100% on my wedding day. Awesome. Right? Yeah. I remember for my sister's wedding, I think it just depends on the time of the day, and hers was later on in the evenings. You know, it just depends. Like you said, you the person, if you don't, if you have a lot of things to plan the next day, you know, right. you have like some last-minute things to take care of, you need to know yourself as a person, like maybe I do need to go to bed, <laughs> so I can, you know, won't go off on anybody the next day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So to wrap it up, we believe that it's based on your personal opinion. If you're going to be an all-nighter, as long as you can get up in the morning, or if you need that beauty rest, make sure you go to bed. <laughs>